Hey everyone, it's Lisa Espinosa, spiritual career coach, author, and host of the podcast Soul City for Your Career. I'm so happy to be here with you. Today is the final Facebook Live of uh, this series leading up to the Divine Mother Retreat tomorrow, which I'm so excited is almost here. So if you've been watching this week's transmissions, I've been sharing a little bit more about what's going to happen in the retreat tomorrow. I've been just sharing just teachings, both for those of you who are planning on being there tomorrow and just any who, anybody who's led to, um, <coughs> excuse me, to watch these transmissions. And really knowing that the Divine Mother, and specifically I've been connecting with Mother Mary in that form, but also Green Tara and others, that they are here to help you share your soul's medicine, share your light, share your gifts with the world in the most authentic, boldest, courageous way. It isn't a journey for the faint of heart. You know, a lot of people think about who are drawn to this work, whether you know, you're know you a wellness professional or, or not, but some, you know, those of you who are drawn to doing healing work, to doing spiritual teaching, it can seem like it's just, um, like it's just so fun and joyful and easy. And it really, I mean, a lot of it is, a lot of it is wonderful and awesome and and flow so well. And there's a lot of courage required. And today is the full moon, as you may know. And on today's full moon, the invitation is to, well, first of all, to celebrate, right? Anything that is complete in your life, any cycle, that you've completed. You might not even be aware of what that is, right? Perhaps you've been going through some initiations and today on the full moon, you're aware like, okay, I completed that. And it might be a project or, you know, something in, in that, completing it in that way. But a lot of times it's an internal completion. Like, okay, I'm done with that pattern. You know, like that's it. I've fallen down that hole many, 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 many times. And I'm done. I learned my lesson. I do not want to repeat that pattern. A lot of times that's what it looks like. So just, you know, asking your soul, asking the Divine Mother, asking Mother Mary or Green Tara or Kuan Yin, whoever you connect with, to shine their light and show you what is the pattern that today on this full moon, your soul's like, that's it. That's it. You've learned the lesson. You've you know, you repeated that pattern over and over and over and that's it. And usually it's a self-sabotage or a limiting pattern that we do or, or even feeling like we're a victim, right? And that isn't to say that there aren't things that happen in our life that absolutely make us feel victimized, that, you know, are painful. However, there's a difference between that and being in the place of like, well, I can't do anything because look at all these things in my life. So I just kind of have to stay small. So that's one gift of the full moon, right? What are you completing? What is over and done with? And the other gift of the full moon is celebration. What are you, it might be the same thing or it might feel different for you. What are you celebrating? How have you been showing courage, particularly from last new moon to this full moon? How did you show up for yourself? Without judgment, remember your soul only always is, what am I trying to say? Your soul is never evaluating you in any sort of judgmental way. So if you're like, oh, I don't have anything to celebrate, that's not true. Ask your soul, what are you celebrating? What, how did you show up for yourself? Even if it was recognizing, oh my gosh, I need to show up for myself more. That's a celebration. And you know, with Mother Mary and the full moon together, the Divine Mother and full moon together, it is this like shining spotlight, right? Shining spotlight and like magnet. So if you feel very emotional today or you have been feeling emotional or having a hard time sleeping or, or things have been coming up that you're like, I thought I was done with that. That's totally normal around the full moon, particularly this full moon, right? So, you know, we see this moon and the Divine Mother as this magnet in both, in two ways. One, again, that it's gonna, if you if you are committed and you're willing, that we could ask this full moon to like 
magnetize to itself to be released anything that can get in the way of what you are meant to be creating and we ask the divine mother to help you love yourself as that happens right to help you really love yourself and and as i was preparing and i want to say oh my gosh i had such a stressful day yesterday and and i know compared to what a lot of people are going through it might seem mundane but i was having a lot of technology issues yesterday and it was like at some point realizing okay i'm going through some sort of initiation like what what is this representing in my life like what as i if you saw my post on facebook or instagram i don't know that you could appreciate with that picture how messy this room looked i mean i was just like drowning in cords and cables and and i was so frustrated and i was like i finally stopped and i was like okay so what are you wanting me to learn here like what what um belief is coming up for me right now around technology and it's so interesting because a lot of my clients and students are feeling that with technology the number of times i hear from clients or potential clients that they can't do something because they're bad at technology i mean it is out you know just an abundance of times and of course I have compassion because I understand I have that I'm clearing but I have that loop in my brain of like oh that's hard oh I don't know how to do that or I can't do that it's gonna be so hard so yesterday as I was in the middle of all these cables and literally almost at the point of tears because I was like why isn't this working and had you know driven to Best Buy for curbside pickup way over in Naperville I mean really it was like hours of stuff and I was like, what, what am I healing? What is it? And it was one of the things that came up was this belief that I was just gonna have to struggle to share my medicine. And it really stems from past lives, it stems from this lifetime, it stems from being a Chicago public schools teacher for many years where I, you know, I love that work in a lot of ways and it also was very difficult in a lot of ways. And there was this belief that, okay, I will always have to struggle to share my medicine, to get my message out there. I'm gonna have to work harder than other people. I'm not good at technology, so this is gonna be really hard. It's like all this stuff that I was like, oh my gosh, this is all, and, and it, it, it got to the point of, I need, I need to suffer in order to share my medicine. That's what makes it worthwhile. If I suffer, then it means I'm really doing the right thing. I don't believe some part of me believe that but I so my soul does not believe that so when I was in the middle of all these cables and all of this I was like okay that's the belief and I prayed hey I called on Mother Mary and Green Tara and my beautiful soul and the divine I was like I'm done with that pattern please I I want to release that belief that in order to share my medicine I must suffer I must be a martyr that somehow that makes it more worthwhile I you know and I just kept um, repeating that and I study the the sacred book of course in miracles and one of the prayers there is I am innocent whole and perfect all is forgiven and released and I just kept saying that I'm innocent whole and perfect all is forgiven and released and understand when we say forgiven it's not like that the divine is forgiving us like because we're these evil sinful people it's really about us forgiving ourselves like I forgive myself basically what I was saying for all the times that I forgot how worthy I was for all the addictions to suffering, for all the times I forgot that the divine loves me exactly as I am right now, that I forgot that this can be a joyful journey. That is not to say that we don't have initiations that bring up challenging emotions, but that it was like so powerful for me to sit in that space surrounded by all this technology to clear that. So that's just one example. You think of your, you know, what's your pattern, your belief your burden that is like it's time to let it go with great compassion you don't we can have all of our feelings about it that's normal it's not that you're just gonna skip around like yay i'm done with this pattern i mean that day will come for sure those moments will come but it's okay to have all our feelings and have that really pure prayer so as i was continuing with that journey i heard and i really heard it as mother mary and Mary Magdalene who worked together very much. So saying, um, pray to love more. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I was thinking like, 
what does that mean? I mean, I know what that means, but I was, I really sat with that. And of course, love is infinite. Our soul loves infinitely. The divine loves infinitely. So there's no limitation on that. However, our ego, our burdens, our wounds definitely put a limit on how much we love, how much we love ourselves and how much we allow love to flow through us. So when she said, pray to love more, I was like, okay. And I started that and I felt the fear that came up when I started and I was like, why am I scared to love more? And I recognize these burdens of like, well, if you love more, hey, Stephanie, so good to see you too. If you love more, you're gonna be more vulnerable, you're gonna be taken advantage of, or even like your heart's gonna just burst and you're not gonna be able to function. I don't know, there was all these interesting things that came up about that. I think when we pray to love more, we're really praying to be who we are. So that's my invitation to you. And, and you know, tomorrow on the Divine Mother Retreat, which amazingly, as I was going through this, all this technology stuff yesterday, and of course, part of my, my stress was like, I should be, you know, meditating and praying and being in this blissful Zen state leading to the retreat, not like surrounded by cables and like trying to fix my Wi-Fi or my, you know, enhance my internet connection. And really what I heard, like, this is your preparation. This is how you prepare. And I haven't even added that this morning when I woke up, <laughs> none of the internet was working. And I was like, oh my gosh, thinking, I mean, it wasn't fun. And then of course, then it's like, there's a, some sort of outage in my neighborhood. Like literally there's some thing going on. There's the Comcast technology. People are fixing it. I'm sending Reiki that it all flows with ease and grace. I wasn't sure this Facebook Live was gonna work, but it's working, so yay. So, um, yeah. So that prayer is the message, the ultimate message for today. Let's pray to love more, to love ourselves more, to love the world more, to love as Mary Magdalene teaches, really to unconditionally love every situation, which I feel is one of the hardest things. Somehow that to me feels more challenging than unconditionally loving people. And that's just my ego, I'm sure. But like when I read her message of like, love every situation unconditionally, I'm just kind of like, what? You know, like it's just, and yet there's a divine understanding that there is a holiness and sacredness and rightness in that invitation. So, I hope that, you know, I know many of you who are watching this are already enrolled to the Divine Mother Retreat. That's what I was going to say before, you know, that I was, as I was judging myself for not being in a Zen blissful state <laughs> yesterday. Um, and she was, and the Divine Mother was like, you're preparing for the retreat right now. And I was also getting very clear on, oh, awesome. I understand now why months ago you set the agenda, and I'm talking to the Divine Mother, of what was gonna happen in this retreat. You know, healing mother wounds, um, healing the our divine womb so that we know how to immaculate, con immaculately conceive our creations. You know, having a special Reiki attunement to connect us with the inner creatrix. All of this was like, came through months ago. I mean, I had an idea of what that meant but I didn't know what it meant, really meant, till this, really now it's been unfolding. And I'm so excited to share that with all of you. And, and I'm sure the, the clarity will continue today all the way till 10 in the morning when I'm turning on, when I'm just like there, um, ready to be with you in that sacred space. And for those of you who are not gonna be there tomorrow, you know, you happen to watch these transmissions, I know that there is a special teaching for you here. And I want you to know, on, well, all these videos will be saved on my Facebook page, but they will also be on my website under Soul Videos, so you can watch uh, from Monday till today. You know, just even if, even if you come across this years from now or next week after the retreat, it will still be helpful. There's something just really powerful about these journeys we've been taking. So let's just do a little 
Oh, one thing I want to share, because I talked about this in one of, I forgot which day. This is the book I was talking about, The Way of the Rose, and I know you're saying it backwards there, but The Radical Path of the Divine Feminine Hidden in the Rosary. And I know one of these days I prayed the rosary and I talked all about that, but it's, so I'll just read it. It says, what happens when a former Zen Buddhist monk and his feminist wife experience an apparition of the Virgin Mary? It's so beautiful. Highly recommend it. If you're interested at, at all or if you feel drawn to the rosary, but then part of you is like, ew, rosary, religion, all of that. Um, so just I thought maybe some of you would be interested in that. So let's do our prayer. Let's bring our hands over to our heart center. Take some nice cleansing breaths. And just really feeling the Divine Mother. Just like she's embracing you. I just feel that like she's just got her arms around you. And just like the good mother that she is, she is like not trying to talk you out of whatever you're feeling, not dismissing your emotions. She's not judging your emotions or trying to rush you through them. She's just embracing you with so much love and understanding and comfort and encouragement. And just for a few breaths, just let yourself feel her embrace before anything else. Just feel her embrace. See if you can allow yourself to feel it even more deeply today. Like just really allowing yourself to just let go of the defensiveness or protectiveness or suspicion or just any anything that can get in the way of you just fully receiving her embrace, her love. And as you feel her embrace, now I just see her you know, taking your hand. So imagine you're taking the Divine Mother's hand and I connect with her as Mother Mary. You can find another image if that works better for you. She doesn't mind. So holding Mother Mary's hand. In that space, we just ask, we just do a very short prayer to love more. So as we hold her hand, we ask her to pray with us. And of course, Mother Mary and all of these divine mother, masters, love to pray for us and with us. Remembering praying isn't like begging for something. Praying is a conversation, a connection with the divine. It is an affirmation, a, an intention. So you feel her beautiful hand in yours. And then we just bring our hands to prayer, see her doing the same as we ask, beautiful soul, beautiful divine, teach me how to love more. Heal whatever blocks are inside of me, whatever wounds, whatever resistance, whatever fears I have that prevent me from loving more, from loving myself and loving the world more. Teach me how that is the safest, most powerful way for me to be. And feel Mother Mary, Green Tara, Kuan Yin, Lakshmi, all of them bowing their heads, praying this prayer with you, for you. Because the Ascended Masters, they've already, they already, that's why they ascended. They have no barriers or resistance to loving fully. And they so want us to experience that as well. So feel them just bowing their heads, praying this prayer with us that we have the courage to love more, the trust, the faith. And see that beautiful full moon just hovering over us as it helps to clear and release wounds that we have that prevent us, that have prevented us from loving more deeply. And we bow to each other in our own heart 
and we end with a namaste namaste everyone so i just want to pull a card two cards for you let's do a mother mary card i'm just part of me is like the wi-fi is gonna drop <laughs> i shouldn't be thinking that but i want to and so here we go mother mary what's your message today for everybody watching this now or later all right look at oh love this our lady of the radiant grace look at that our lady of the radiant grace i love that it's number 33 because there you know repeated threes is a number of the ascended masters of mastery of Okay, let's see. I'm looking to see what she wants me to read from all of these pages. All right, this card comes to you at a time when, whether you are conscious of it or not, a greater spiritual embodiment is upon you. This will take great courage to accept. You will not necessarily feel in control and life circumstances Oh, sorry, you will not necessarily feel in control or understand some of the changes in relationships and life circumstances that happen as a result of this greater divine presence manifesting within your being. These changes are manifesting through the mother's grace to allow for you to be free. Remember that freedom does not mean being alone. Freedom comes with a sense of living your destiny without obstruction. That will include having deep and connected relationships that feed and nourish the soul. Allow the mother to flow into your heart and be with you as you trust in what is unfolding now through her radiant grace. So you know what this means. This means that the Divine Mother is with you, showering you with her grace as you release anything that does not serve you. That's literally what it means. And sometimes our ego is attached to things that do not serve us. So it's uncomfortable or even painful to let go of some of the things that actually are hurting us. So that's what she's saying. I'm here with you. I'm holding you. I'm offering you my grace as you release relationships that don't serve you, patterns that don't serve you, weak boundaries that keep allowing people who are dishonoring and disrespecting you into your life. Um, any sort of self-sabotage. She is here with her grace, blessing you, loving you. I'm so excited. So here we go. And just since it's a full moon, let's do a moon card. What's the moon message today along with this? Oh. When I let others shine, I shine too. Look at these sisters surrounding the full moon. When I let others shine, I shine too. Really mean there's no competition. And we all fall into that, right? Comparing ourselves to others or all of that. But it's really there's no competition for your life's purpose because nobody else has your soul's medicine. And as our others shine their beautiful light, as everybody else becomes the lighthouse that they are, we are the lighthouse that we came here to be. So I love that. When I let others shine, I shine too. All right, lovelies. Always so wonderful to be with you. Um, you can, I'll put the link on the comments feed for the Divine Mother Retreat. It'll also be on the YouTube link. You can go to my Facebook page, my website. If you wanna enroll, there is still time. And for those of you who are already signed up, I'm so excited to connect with you tomorrow. And sending you all so much love. Enjoy this full moon. Be in that space of grace.